Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. Thanks again for watching on Tuesday the 25th of November. This is your look ahead video. And a bit of a chilly one out there today across many parts of England. Didn't get above two or three degrees. And the uh, reason for that was that we got cold air sat at the surface, uh, cloud coming in from a front from the south, and uh, just blocked off all sunlight. It goes to show what can happen at this time of year. If you don't get the sun and you've not got a warm wind direction, you just don't get the heat in there. So uh, temperatures just stay flat. And what we found this afternoon was a warm front moving its way northwards that bringing some outbreaks of rain and this weak front as well across southern parts of Scotland. Now uh, for Wednesday uh, well I think it's one either just to go to work or just to stay in bed because for many uh, I think across England and Wales it's a dark dank November day outbreaks of rain mist and murk pretty cool you name it pretty yucky uh, across the uh, northern west of Scotland and Ireland things should be better although there may be a morning frost there and then for Thursday, uh, slightly milder conditions coming in from the south during the course of Thursday. Drier as well, but probably taking time for that warmer air to get northwards. It's going to be Friday really before it manages it. And then we've still got a fair amount of cloud around, but at least temperatures recover somewhat. Saturday sees fronts moving eastwards. I think uh, fog becomes a problem across many southern areas during the course of Saturday. That's slow to clear, but some rain across the north and west. And then for Sunday, uh, fog again across southern areas, but we've got that front still affecting look central Scotland, bringing some cloud and some spots of rain there. So what about further ahead? Well, this is the, <coughs> excuse me, the seven to 10 day mean of the 500 millibar flow. And it's from two models. We've got the ECMWF on the left. We've got the GFS on the right. Both of them you'll notice, look, these red colors here indicating higher than normal heights for the time of year uh, across the UK and actually across uh, parts of Northern Europe. Now, what that sets us up for is the idea of where we've been pointing you basically haven't we since the beginning of november talking about cooler weather getting in at the beginning of uh december that looks like it's what's going to happen uh let me just show you the clusters first of all to show you where the gfs sees this ending up these are the clusters for wednesday the 10th of December and uh, I think what we have to do is just take notice of where the GFS tries to put this look we've got a 30% member cluster with low pressure there 25% there and a 15% there so that gives us a total of 70% of members of these uh, of the GFS uh, ensemble believing that we've got a cool west or northwesterly flow effect in the UK still by the 10th of December. And I think the trick with that really is to take from it, look, this is what uh, the models are trying to put point to. This idea of it not being drastically cold, but that we do get cooler air coming in. And this is how the charts look at the moment from the ECMWF for the 5th of December. And notice this one, and I, I still favor the ECMWF, puts high pressure across the country, drags in cooler east to northeasterly winds, particularly across southern areas. But with this, I think probably what it's pointing at is middle to the latter stages of next week, an increasing risk of frost and also of fog. Notice the cutoff cold pool down here to the south look, and here's the jet that I was telling you about yesterday up towards the north and a split jet feature down towards the south as well. Compare that to the GEM, the Canadian, a uh, bit of a different story on the Canadian. What that's trying to do is actually to get a trough in. It doesn't see this trough as being cut off. Uh, so I think we need to put the uh, Canadian to bed just for now. Uh, the ECMWF Ensemble goes for a similar idea. Trough down here, look, more of an easterly flow across the south, split jet north and also south. So it goes for this idea of frost and fog next week, as does the uh, GFS Ensemble of sorts. There's the hive though, off towards the east look, brings in more of an east to south easterly flow across the south, but shows these westerlies knocking on the door out towards the west. Although I think we've got to look at the 9th or the 10th before they get back in, although still staying cool. And the reason I say that they'll stay cool is because we have cooler than normal water out here in the Atlantic just at the moment. So anything coming in from the west is actually gonna be cooler than it should be for the time of year. So I'm gonna leave you with that one for now, just a quick look ahead today, but thanks again for watching. Don't forget you can subscribe to us via our YouTube channel and get all the very latest updates through there. And also of course, via the website at weatherweb.net. But for now, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.